Here's a very smart box. Very strong too. Gorton board, you ever heard of it? Well, we better look inside and see what it's all about. Wow, this is a very smart looking object. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Well, I recognize that figure. Let's see what I call the normal curve. Let's see what happens. I think you're supposed to rock this back and forward and there's ball bearings there. Look, can you see thousands of them? Oh yes, they all go down to a little cone at the, at the very bottom. So what we do is we turn it upside down several times and each time we do it, the balls fall down through a whole series of pegs and the majority fall down in the middle where they started. But a few, just to the laws of chaos and chance, come further out and just one or two of it come all the way out to the very edge. So it's a lovely way of showing distribution, normal curve of distribution. They call this toy a mast in motion. That's a nice term, isn't it? Mast in motion. Wonderful. Nice noise too. It sounds exactly like the Rush Hour toy I had. One of the first toys I had was ball bearings when I was starting collecting. And every time you do it, it just approaches what they call the normal curve, but it never quite gets there. That's more probability coming in. So a lovely demonstration of this bit of maths. But there's more to it than that because the array of pins here has got superimposed on it a triangle. And the numbers on the triangle are very curious, they're very hard to see, but they are something very significant. They're called Pascal's triangle. They've got a one at the top, then supporting that with two with little tiny all in tiny hexagons, saying one one, then one two one, and one three three one, and so on. That is a Pascal triangle, yes, of course. And furthermore, it's related to Fibonacci series, because when you go down the diagonals here, they make a nice series of numbers, which is very well known. One, one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, where you add up the previous two numbers to that next number, and you go on doing that all the way to infinity. So there's at least two things there, but there's one more item which you can introduce, and that is the golden ratio, because when you take the ratio between two of the Fibonacci series of numbers, it starts to approach the golden ratio, the golden mean, 1.618 to 1. It's a, it's a universal thing which has been known since the Greek times for making a very pleasing architectural geometry. So lots and lots of maths there, but to my mind, I think the most enjoyable part of it is the simple sound of turning things upside down and seeing what happens. All the ball bearings go down into this little hopper at the top, bottom, and now we make it to the top, and the great majority fall down into the central columns, making a nice high point, shows where the majority of them go. Just the odd one or two managed to get it all the way out to the pyramid, to the last column of all, but... Oh my, what a wonderful piece. What a wonderful piece. <laughs>